Now the operator is setting the hydrostatic brake at 100%. As you can see, the machine has a strong hydrostatic brake. Let's see what will happen with other settings. With 0%, the machine is sailing and the vehicle is costing and slow down only by the hydromechanical losses. Interesting live demonstration, right? Nevertheless, let me explain in details what we have done. This is the classic control logic based on speed control. Here, the pump and the motor set point are managed to reach the desired hydrostatic transmission ratio. This ratio depends on drive pedal position, vehicle speed and engine speed. This means that in order to change the machine behavior, the parameters available influence the current which control pump and motor. At Rexot, we are developing a new control concept and the approach is to control the hydrostatic travel drives has completely changed. With torque control, we want to move one level up. The idea is to command the transmission with a desired output torque using a pressure control and pump as our new A4VG Series 35. Our new control logic is an encapsulation of pump and motor control with defined physical interface for torque control and input power limitation. Inside, the pressure is calculated and the pump and the motor are controlled accordingly. Load sensitivity is a great achievement that Bosch Rexot now drive further. By combining the electronic open circuit pump and electrohydraulic main control valve with EHPQ software, pressure and flow are controlled independently. This allows for a high sensitivity load feelings, soft but quick movement, easy control of the auxiliary and adaptable power limitation. Together with the eMotion Plus, Bosch Rexot define the next level of controllability for telehandler. The new control strategy and the digitalization of the hydraulic systems make it easier to add intelligent assistant function anytime. Let's see the next demonstration. Here you will see some maneuvers as horizontal and vertical lifting. When the operator has fixed the set point, the arm will move by following the vertical and horizontal trajectories. With the TCP rolling function, while rotating the bale, the center point remains the same. Advanced assistant function from Bosch Rexot increases safety and productivity, no matter how narrow the working condition environment. Even less experienced operator can manage any task with ease at, at high productivity. We have seen a lot regarding different machine function. However, how to manage the available power in a proper way? To control the power flow in a vehicle, it is necessary that all the power participants transmit the request to the power manager and the power manager, vice versa, commit to a limit into the systems. Via the torque, the vehicle performance can be well defined. Now, additionally, we can use the power manager to improve the efficiency of the entire vehicle. This is done by a power-oriented and speed control. The power manager basically has only the functionality to fulfill the current power balances. The decide factor here is that all the dominant consumer in the vehicle support the same physical interface. This is a precondition for future technology as electrics and hybrids. 
Let's see the next demo we have prepared for you. The vehicle is traveling at low engine speed and on the ramp the boom will be activated with 100% of priority to the implement. The implement is receiving the full power and the vehicle is stopped. Let's repeat the maneuver by defining a different priority. As you can see, we are able to change the setting in a very easy way. While loading or unloading a rack, the operator needs to thoroughly check the area around, take care about his colleagues in addition to focus on his real working task. As we can see, a lot of stress for the operator. And in the end, he is getting very close to an accident. In the next couple of minutes, I will introduce you to our surround sensing technologies. We've built a demonstrator vehicle that you can see right behind me. This vehicle is equipped with a multi-camera system, ultrasonic, as well as radar sensors. The first system I want to introduce to you is the multi-camera system. On this diagram, you can see some main features of the system, to mention some of them. High resolution, best-in-class stitching, that means perfect overlapping areas between the single cameras. We've implemented a zoom function and other graphical overlays. In the video, you can see how the camera system helps the operator to easily maneuver backwards into the workshop. You see the graphic overlay of the maneuvering aid with the blue lines. Coming soon, the multi-camera system will be available with collision prevention. I will show a short video clip now, again using a forklift as a demonstrator. Here you can see the display as the forklift operator sees it on the monitor in his vehicle. Detected objects are highlighted in colored boxes. You see the object detection is working independently if the vehicle is in standstill or in motion. Coming to our next innovative sensor solution, ultrasonic sensors. The slide again shows main features of the system. Our ultrasonic sensor system not only measures distances, but can detect up to 20 objects. They work in a range of up to 5.5 meters. And in case of dirty sensors, the operator will be informed. This we call sensor blindness detection. In the video, you can see the camera system that we showed you before with an overlay of the signal of the ultrasonic sensors. On top of the clear camera picture, the operator gets information on objects around the vehicle. In this example, the distance to the vehicle is shown with each object. Of course, the layout is configurable. Last but not least, I'm going to show you our radar sensors. The radar sensor can be used to react on objects that are more than five meters away from the machine. Here you see some main features. Our very compact radar sensors have two antennas inside, one for near and one for far range. You can use them for detection and tracking of up to 40 objects. In this case, tracking means each detected object submits velocity and direction data. So the system somehow forecasts a little bit of the future. As mobile machines often drive on uneven ground, we have implemented a special ground reflection filter. Furthermore, safety requirements up to performance level D can be realized. In my last video sequence, I give an example for using the radar sensor. Here you see our radar system in operation. In the upper side of the screen, you see the detection and the distance of the person in meters from the vehicle. 